Hello you guys, in the video I will show you how to make the connection between Box GI to the Postgres actual to the Postgres XUS database. And I will also have show you how to upload the the the, the shape file from QGS into the database. So how to make a connection? First of all you have to click on the elephant head on the left. And then you click on the use, and here uh, you see the name. Then you can put it any uh, any name you want for uh, for any name that you want. For example, I type it G I data database, and for the host because I am going to run my local host, uh, I install it on my computer, so I will type and you guys may think that what what is the port number 5432 what does it mean uh, we, we take the port from our server when we click on the the port for actual server and you will see the local host 5432 then it's reason that it's already built here if you cannot see you can write down and for the database if you want to narrow down to the database that you want to make the connection you can also write it down for example the other one is for gs so i copy the name and pass it here and for the username and password in case you want to update or you want to entry the data into the gs you have to sign in as the admin so i type it down It is the it is the password of our database that we installed before already. So I click test on the connection. Say the connection to to progress was successfully. So I click OK and I OK. Yeah. Uh. Now I just want to test again. You can click on connect. Then I type the password. Okay. Okay. You see, our connection is successfully and it goes to the public. It's empty because we haven't uploaded any data into this database yet. So, how to upload the data into this database? So, the first thing that you have to do, uh, just uh, upload the shape file. Just upload the shape file into upload the shape file into our QGIS dragon drop. Yeah, and you see. This is our data. The map of Cambodia, the country I'm living for, I'm living to, I'm living in. And to upload this into my database, I am going to click on uh, database, database, DB manager, and click on DB manager. And then I click on the post GI here, and I can see the GI database. It is the connection that I created before uh, by this elephant head. So I click on here. Yeah, you see the no data, so I will go into upload and we're going to import the export the your part. Yeah, I'm going to import it and I will choose the name, choose the public, uh, the schema, uh, what I'm going to keep it in schema, primary key. The primary key is really important if you cannot, if you didn't put the primary key, it will find it difficult to. Uh, to update the, the data so source as already you can apply three two six four h and the target as already source as already and target as already also this the same projection uh three two six four eight it mean from here, the database, uh, I mean the projection of the data is from the WGS84 soon 40H North Pole, so the number is 3264MH. So, and then I click OK. I'll put the body required, so I have to fill in the table. For example, uh, the, ta the data about power is so right. Power T-Red, Provin, Nawaz, so 
tap on it and click OK. And it's going to upload uh, upload or import the data into the database. So it's uploaded already. So I'm going to check it in my Bokre as well. You go to the Bokre and refresh it. And I see, do you see uh, this? Do not. Okay. Do you see that here is uh, the our data that I just uploaded before? And you see the row, you see the column. And if you want to view the, the data, you can click on here. And you see. And if you want to add this data to our QGIS, you can also click on this elephant head and you make the connection. And then you go to this one, the data that we just add, and we click add. So uh, I will move the previous one. The new one is from our database that we just uh, add from the database to PG admin into our QGIS. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how to uh, publish this data Publish this uh, data in PostGIS into GeoServer. Thank you very much